God, love that sound. This is Invaders on the Acorn Electron. Let me straighten that up a bit. It's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that, as usual. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like and talking a whole load of rubbish while I do it. More than that, my God, I haven't played this in about 26 years, give or take. And I mean, what could I possibly tell you that you don't know just by looking at it? It's Space Invaders. It's a bit clunky. That's probably the only way I could describe it. It's kind of wooden, but, you know. I do like, I like Space Invaders. I don't think this is a great clone of it. But it's, I've certainly played worse. I don't know how well the colours are coming across on the camera. Hmm. You can't destroy the aliens missiles by shooting them, which is a bit disappointing. You don't get the nice afraid effect when they hit the uh, the shields. But I mean, these are all quibbles. It's certainly no less authentic than Invaders on the uh, Atari 2600. I mean, that's that's not really very authentic at all. There's no worse than that. It's probably a little bit better than that. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It's still going. My God. I really can't be bothered. I mean, it's Space Invaders. It's not a bad Space Invaders. But... It doesn't have... Proper arcade Space Invaders has something. It's got a spark that makes you want to play. To, it racks up the tension. Um, all of that. This doesn't do that. I, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know why it is. It just doesn't do it for me. So there you go. Invaders, Acorn Electron. It's by a company called IJK Software. Never heard of them before. It was done in 1983. That's all I can tell you really. 
So this and videos of other games in my collection and the video of my console and computer collection can be found on my YouTube channel. There's a link, link, link there and here to my website, retrogamingcollector.com. Take a look at that if you've got nothing better to do. Thank you for watching.